guys, it's me, Courtney, from Know Your Produce, and today we're gonna show you how to cut a pineapple. So when I pick a pineapple out, usually it's green, and then I let it sit on my counter for two to three days, and then I'll cut it. And it sort of gets from the green to like this yellowing. When it comes to cutting, I like to pick a knife that is feels good in my hand, so I usually go with my chef knife. Um, so that's just what I'm gonna use, but if you have a knife that you feel comfortable with that is big enough to cut the pineapple, go ahead and use that knife. So let's get started. So I'm gonna just lay my pineapple down and I'm going to turn it this way and I'm just gonna cut off the top. You could also twist it out, but I like to do this so I can like set it inside of like a fruit platter or something and it has a nice sturdy base. So there we go for that. And then we're gonna turn it around and then cut off the other end. Now we're gonna cut off this end as well. So then we're just gonna toss these and set these to the side. Now what I like to do is I like to stand my pineapple up. If you have any like scoochies on your knife, just get those off. And what do I mean by scoochies? Like these little thingies. My family calls them scoochies, I don't know. So now we're gonna cut down the pineapple and we're gonna cut off all of the outer skin so we get that nice yellow flesh. And you wanna go as close as you can to the pineapple because if we have these here, we can come back and get those off later. And then just keep turning your pineapple until you get all that skin off because we don't wanna eat that skin. So if you have a lot of skin on your board, you can move that to the side to your garbage or your compost bowl. And then just keep cutting down. Remember to get as close as the skin as you can because we don't want to waste. And if you want to see it from the front. There we go. And then we have this last piece. And then we're just gonna go back and get those eyes out. You could even use like a little spoon. I just like to go in with my knife because sometimes there's like a whole row of them and it'll be like a fibrous piece and I just don't want that. And now I use this for smoothies most of the time. I'll take this and then I'm gonna freeze it. So if there's a little bit of the eyes here and there, I'm not gonna worry about it. It's not something that's gonna be like, oh no they will blend perfectly fine. Sometimes it gets stuck to the bowl, the cutting board, I mean. And we're just gonna keep turning it and then getting all those pieces off. So I'm pretty happy with this. Give it a once over, maybe some right here. So now that our pineapple's cut, I'm going to remove this hardcore. You do not wanna eat that, it's very hard. So we're gonna go right down here And then again, right down. So we have two halves, and then we're gonna go around that core. Again, one more time. And then you can give this to the kids to snack on, but you just wanna remove it because it's not easy to eat. And then we're gonna cut these pieces. I like to take these pieces first, and then I cut them into little bite-sized pieces for fresh but then if it's a smoothie or something and you can go back and get those little big pieces that bother you if it's like a smoothie I'll kind of like cut them a little bit bigger watch these guys out and then I'm gonna do the same with these same with this And then we have like this chopped pineapple, perfect, ready to enjoy. And there you have how to cut pineapple. So this is our cut pineapple. I will freeze some and then we'll have some fresh, but this is pretty much good to go. It's super sweet, perfect pineapple. So now that that is all cut and ready, I'm gonna show you another one. I just bought this one today. You can see it's a lot more green. Um, there's green all here. It's a little bit of yellow here. So I'm gonna actually store this upside down. <laughs> so 
So look, and you can see here the skin from the other one. See how it's a lot more yellow? Let me see if I can find a good piece. See, it had a little bit more yellowing. This was the previous pineapple. I wait until it gets to this color. If you don't want it to be this color, that's fine. This is gonna be a little bit more white inside. Um, I really want my pineapple to be that nice yellow. So this is the one we cut before, and this one will be ready in two to three days. So now you know how to cut a pineapple. We hope this video was helpful. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe, and we'll see you soon.